Hey YouTube, it's Faith of Raven and Perico, uh, back with another video. Uh, this time about why I used an iPod Classic in 2019. Uh, so the thing is, what I'll go about first is this is not your everyday ordinary iPod Classic for two reasons. So I'll start it up here. You can see through that interface, that's not the normal iPod interface. This is something called Rockbox, which is made by a really passionate team that makes uh, the same firmware for a bunch of other devices that basically unlocks uh, the full potential of your mp3 player. What this means is you get a bunch of cool like custom equalizer settings, you can change any part of the theme, uh, you can put any file format you want on here, uh, you can also play Doom on it, which is super cool. And uh, the best thing about it for me is that you don't have to use iTunes, you can just drag and drop all your music and it's detected like it would be on basically any other mp3 device, which is super cool. And uh, for me, as a Linux user, that's completely ideal because I, well, I use Linux. Linux users don't get iTunes. So anything that lets me bypass iTunes is already a plus in my book. But uh, the second reason why this is not your everyday iPod is it's modified with a SD card adapter, specifically the iFlash Quad. So I'm going to crack this open. Uh, let me just find a tool. Uh, this is the uh, interactive portion of the, uh, the video. But yeah, I'll take a little pick here. I'll safely shut down uh, my iPod. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is every time you open one of these is make sure it's actually off. And I'll just pry in here a bit and open it up just to show you the, uh, the internal components. So as you can see, I open this up kinda butterfly style, but instead of a hard drive, there's the iFlash adapter with four SD cards. Unfortunately, it's not as exciting. I mean, what I have right now is not as exciting as it could be because originally these were supposed to be four 256 gigabyte SD cards. I plan to basically get four over the course of the year and I started off with one and it turned out to be fake, which was a huge bummer for my project, but Either way, right now I have about 60 gigabytes of assorted storage. Uh, 50 closer to, sorry. I have a 32 gig card, I have a 16 gig card, I have a 4 gig card, and that's where it ends. I still haven't found a fourth SD card to actually put in here, but that gives me about 51, 52 gigs of storage. And so far, so that's basically all I need. And I can put it back together real nicely. Don't have to worry about it just falling apart or anything. It's pretty durable. And so the burning question here might be, but why don't you have a phone? I do in fact have a phone that is upside down. I do in fact have a phone, but having a four SD card slots is incredibly useful for any device because I can just keep upgrading the storage and not necessarily spend a lot of money. And also B, it's just pretty much so plug and play and has so many accessories designed for it, whereas my phone does not. So you can see in the background there, I have an iHome dock, which I've also rigged with a Bluetooth uh, adapter. You can see a bit more of that on the video that I'm, it'll either come up before or after this video, depending on how long these take to upload. But uh, like I have an adapter for it right there, which is super cool. And like, sure, it uses a proprietary cable and all that, but especially here in where my, my neck of the woods in Canada, our dollar stores sell these for next to nothing, like pennies. They're basically trying to like give them away at this point because they have so many, which is perfect because it's generally cheaper than a micro USB or lightning cable in my experience. And we all know how many of those things we go through. And sure, I may have to hoard these so like I can keep using my iPod in the future, but it's not that much of a deal breaker considering like how common this cable is and how common the adapters and general like accessories are so would i recommend this to someone in 2019 it depends on who you are i for example i like to keep all of my devices separate i like to use my phone strictly for social things i like to use my mp3 player for music things and let's see if I can grab it over here and i use my new nintendo switch which i'll make some videos about soon for my gaming purposes. And you might not like, you might not be like me. You might want to have all of your things conveniently in one place, and that's totally fine. 
Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just tend to be the person where I like to separate my devices, so all of my devices have a separate use case. And yes, that means, like, I have to charge, like, three devices a day, <coughs> but I have enough outlets. It's not that big of an inconvenience to me. Anyway, uh, I hope this has been somewhat informative, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic day.